Uh, good morning to everyone. I am E. Bushpamli, Department of English, KSO College of Arts and Science for Women. And in this video, we are going to talk about Romantic Revolt. And uh, before we are going to talk about this uh, particular topic and what are the objectives we are going to learn, we, we, we will see. And uh, uh, first thing is Romanticism and Futures of Romantic Poetry and Biography of William Wordsworth. And William Wordsworth is a poet of nature. William Wordsworth, Individual Writing and Co-Affection. And also, uh, we are going to learn what is Romanticism, Romantic Era and also background of Romanticism and uh, some futures of Romantic Poetry and name of the Romantic Poets. And also, uh, before we are going to talk about uh, uh, this uh, particular subject, we came to know, we should know about uh, what is Romanticism. Romanticism is a literary conception and it cannot be precisely defined by some specific literary term and it implies a certain literary creation. So, Romanticism describes the literary and the philosophical engagement of the 18th century. And also, the Romantic period began with the publications of Lyrical Ballads, a joint work of William Wordsworth and S.T. Coleridge. And just after 10 years of French Revelation and also... Uh, if you go for romanticism and uh, there are, there was some uh, background which was uh, Good morning to everyone. I am E. Bushpoli, Department of English, KSL College of Arts and Science for Women. And in this video, we are going to talk about the Romantic Revolt. And before we are going to learn what is Romanticism, and we learn some objectives from Romanticism, like what is Romanticism, Futures of Romantic Poetry, and Biography of William Wordsworth, and William Wordsworth is a Poet of Nature, and William Wordsworth, Individual Writing, Perfection, and what is Romanticism, Romantic Era, and Background of Romanticism, and uh, saline futures of romantic poetry and the name of the romantic poets and uh, uh, before we going to start this uh, romantic revolt uh, we should know about what is romanticism romanticism is uh, nothing but it is a literary conception and it cannot be precisely defined by some specific uh, literary term and it implies a certain literary creation so romanticism describes the literary and philosophical engagement of 80th century and uh, the Romantic period began with the publications of Lyrical Ballads. It is a joint work of William Wordsworth and S.T. Coleridge. And also, just after 10 years of French Revelation, the Romantic era was started. And also, uh, there was uh, three important background, which is background for Romanticism. That is liberty, equality and fraternity. And also, uh, the Romantic poets was divided into three, uh, two types. First one is first generation and second generation. First generation poets, William Wordsworth, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, these two are widely called the pioneer of the Romantic poems. Whereas William Blake also includes this first generation romantic poet. The second generation romantic poets, uh, Shelley, uh, Byron and Keats and uh, some other poets. And uh, if you go for romantic poetry, it has saline futures. Usually the major future are, uh, usually the romantic poetry has uh, uh, two uh, major uh, character characteristics, uh, that is mysticism and uh, high imaginations. And also apart from that, they uh, have a lot of uh, additional characteristics like uh, love, for, love of nature, simplicity, humanism, love for poetry and sensationness, uh, sorry, sensationness and spontaneous subjectivity and supernaturalism use of common language and common theme uh, panthesism and lyricism and individualism classism and glorification of nature and revolutionary zeal and uh, thank you so much in next video we will uh, talk about uh, uh, next unit thank you so much thank you